Hi, and welcome to another how-to video on youtube.com slash home edition. In this video, I will show you how to make a bootable USB drive because I personally need it to build a computer for someone that I know. And the computer doesn't have a CD-ROM drive, so instead of me swapping out a CD-ROM from another computer, the easiest thing for me to do is actually make a bootable USB drive. So I already have a USB drive plugged in, so I gotta get this program. It's on downloads.com, also called CNET, also called download.com. It's called a Win to Flash. Now it's a free program, and what it does, it basically makes an image of your operating system CD, such as uh, you know Windows XP or Vista or Windows 7. And it puts that bootable image on your USB device. So I'm gonna download this right now. I'm actually hoping it's very easy because I have personally never done this before. So let's see. Got the program. Just gonna go through the installation process. Now I already popped in my Windows XP CD. What is this? Okay. Oh god, you know, downloads.com sucks for doing this. Look, they you want to install all this stuff on your computer. Like, this really sucks. I really do not like this about them. And I'm sure a lot of people don't like this. They're just trying to make extra money. They have deals with all these people. Anyways, look, install Coupon Companion. So you make sure you pick custom and uncheck that. Shame on you, downloads.com. Shame on you. Okay, so we just installed Winter Flash without the bloatware. Oh, look at this. Set my default search provider. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. Okay, so hopefully we have not modified the computer in any way. No, I do not want to install that. I mean, this is ridiculous. Did you? I hope you guys noticed how many things I had to uncheck and carefully read, and at one point click cancel because if I clicked OK, it would have installed some bloatware. So, so far, I'm really not impressed with how much, you know, bloatware they tried to install. So let's see where this uh, program is. When to Huh. Now I'm wondering if it even installed the program. What's this? Went to flash beta. I didn't notice the desktop icon, so. I did notice this um, archive on my desktop that just popped up and I clicked on the executable within the archive. Okay. Just accept that. I guess it's going to run ads as I do this. Okay. Yeah, this is just determined to mess with my home page. So I'm going to the to the advanced mode just to see what they have. You can make a bootable MS DOS drive. Windows 2003. There are many options. I'm just going to pick the first one Windows XP setup. Okay. So I'm going to click Create, Source Path. So now we just select where I popped in this CD for Windows, which is there, this is my F drive, and now I will select my USB drive, which is my removable disk, 
Okay. Let's see. Remove the read-only attribute from files. Okay. Um, okay, so I selected that. Now I'm not sure if it's gonna format it. Let's see. Oh, you could. This is cool stuff. Look, you could pre-configure your serial number, your username. That is awesome. I like that. Format the drive, so that's good. It's gonna make the drive bootable. This is good stuff right here. It's gonna format it. Format it with the FAT32 system. Awesome. You know, let's let's give it a shot. Accept. Yes. Okay. Okay, that took a long time, but it says it is finished. So now, if I fire up Explorer, this appears to have the boot image. Now I'm going to test it, so I'm going to tape the rest with the iPhone and let's see what happens. Alright, so a couple keyboards on my desk and here's the computer I just built. It actually has a big hole in it. But, uh, you notice the network cable? It's just running across to my router. That's pretty nice, huh? So, let me switch sources. Okay. This is my other computer. So now, I will pull out the USB stick. Check this out. I got this right from Google. From a conference in North Carolina. Anywho. Let's stick this thing in somewhere let's see after you put in your USB device we're gonna have to configure the BIOS to recognize that we're gonna be booting from a USB device but actually your BIOS is gonna think it's a hard drive so there's a few settings that I want to show you so hit delete to enter setup Okay, so I hit delete to enter setup. <sighs> okay. Now, there's a few things you want to look at. If you go to boot, boot device priority, um, we're actually going to be booting from a hard drive. You're tempted to pick um, removable because it's a USB device, but the computer is actually going to think it's a hard drive. So, so let's let's see hard disk drives. Okay, you see right here the whip tail. That is the actual USB device, and it's set as the first device to boot. When you first go to your BIOS, you probably have your main hard drive first. So you just gotta switch that around. Um, I'm actually just hitting the minus key. So now it's set to boot from the USB. Hit escape. Look at some other boot settings. Um, this I'm just gonna leave. I also disabled the full screen logo because instead of the logo, I wanted to see what the computer is actually doing. This is also how you see messages that tell you how to enter the boot menu. So if you have the full screen logo or something like that, disable it so you can actually get the error messages or configuration messages so I will save this and I'm gonna get my finger on F8 because when a computer starts booting you will now see press F8 to enter the boot menu so I'll press F8 and now it's going to load a menu for me which will give me some options so I really just have two options. I have my hard drive or I have the USB uh, stick which it's called the whip tail. So I'll click that. And now it is going to boot from that. I'm actually going to pick option one. 
text mode setup, boot from flash again after finish. So now this is actually running from the USB device, which is awesome because if you look at my computer, there is no CD-ROM. This thing is just a, a cover. That's why it looks different. I, I pretty much mix the match covers just to cover the holes. And here, there's a big fan that was supposed to go over there, but uh, I do not have it. So far, Windows is booting from the USB device, and I'm very happy about that since I don't have to pull out CD-ROM drives. Although, it would have been easier to be honest because this took me time to figure out. So to set up Windows, press enter. Okay. License agreement. So I'm going to hit F8 to agree. And do 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 What I want to do is actually format. Well, I want to delete the partition. I'm going to delete this partition. I'm hitting D. Oh, I'm not hitting D. Okay, now I'm hitting D. To delete this partition, press Enter. To delete this partition, press L. Okay, so this on the bottom, by the way, that is the USB drive. So you don't want to install on there. And here is... You know, this makes me curious. Can I install Windows on the USB? I need another USB. But anyways, here we go. I'm gonna do a quick format. So now it's formatting my hard drive. Um, I think it's 250 gig. And then, it's gonna copy files. So for all of you who have never done this, this is pretty awesome. You know, you could actually install Windows XP from a USB device. I really like that option. It's faster because USB is faster than, you know, especially the older CD-ROMs. Obviously, things are always faster with better hardware. So this is going to take a while. We'll continue once it's uh, a lot further in. Okay. And <laughs> this is taking way longer than I expected. Rebooting. Okay, whiptail it is. Okay, I guess now we pick the second option. And this is a good sign because um, this is the first time we're seeing this after we formatted the hard drive. very good side looks like it's gonna work perfectly okay so since I now I'm just setting up the computer I have faith that everything is all set okay so I just entered my uh, product key now Windows is just wrapping everything up after this I'm pretty sure it's gonna reboot to the actual hard drive okay I setup has just finished and now it's rebooting okay now you have to pull out the USB stick before the computer boots because your computer is ready to put off the hard drive but I'm gonna go into the BIOS and just put everything back basically so we're gonna go to boots um, let's see and we'll switch these around. So first, it's gonna boot from the Samsung. Let's see, oh damn it. And now I'm gonna enable the quick boot. And I could also put the full screen logo back, but I'm not, I prefer to have it off, so. So now, the computer will boot for the first time using its hard drive. Okay. So there you go, 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was my first time installing Windows, uh, any version of Windows, using a USB stick. And I'm glad I took a video uh, of the whole process. So you guys could learn how to do it yourself. It's not that hard. Make sure you follow the instructions. If you get the program I used, make sure you don't install the bloatware that they really are aiming for you to install by tricking you. Thanks for watching this how to video. Go ahead and click on subscribe to see more of my videos and show me some love. Click the thumbs up.